Hello everyone. Welcome to Logic Terrain. In this session I am going to discuss a very 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 important question from arithmetic progressions as well as this is one of the applications of arithmetic progressions. And moreover, this question came in uh, one of the previous CS or CBSE board examinations as well as uh, the same is from uh, Adi Sharma book as well. So one of the hardest question you can say, right? Let's have a look at the question. Here is the one. A thief after committing a theft runs at a uniform speed of 50 meters per minute. After 2 minutes, a policeman runs to catch him. He goes 60 meters in first minute and increases his speed by 5 meters per minute every succeeding minute. After how many minutes the policeman will catch the thief? This is the question. So in this question, a thief after committing a theft and uh, he is uh, running and after 2 minutes uh, a policeman started running and he goes 60 meters uh, per minute. Uh, he started with uh, 60 meters per minute speed and he is increasing 5 meters per minute every succeeding minute and the thief is uh, moving with uniform speed 50 meters per minute. Then here the question is after how many minutes the policeman will catch the thief, right? So let us see. So for my convenience what I will do is I uh, will take uh, policeman as P and uh, thief as T, right? So instead of writing this entire I will uh, represent with uh, P and T, right? So let, uh, let P catches that is policeman catches the thief t after small t minutes clear here policeman uh, started with 60 meters initial speed and uh, he is increases his speed by 5 meters per minute every succeeding minute so in case of uh, in case of policeman the sequence what is that we will get uh, 60 and next minute it is uh, 65 and next minute it is 70 and next minute it is uh, the speed is 75 meters and so on. So clearly you can see the difference is 5. So it forms an AP. So AP is equals to 60, 65, 70, 75 and so on. Here this is uh, A and uh, D is equals to 5. The common difference is 5. Now, uh, the distance covered by the policeman in T minutes. Now, distance covered by P that is policeman is equals to st sum of t terms that is the distance covered uh, with this speed in t minutes. So therefore st is equals to by using the sum of n terms formula that is n upon uh, 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d here n is t a is 60 and d is 5 right we will substitute here t upon 2 into 2a 2 into 60 plus n minus 1 n is t t minus 1 into d here d is 5 so further this becomes t upon 2 into 2 into 60 120 plus 5 into t 5 t minus 5 ones are 5 so further this becomes t upon 2 into 120 minus 5 115 plus 5 t so let us take this is number 1 now in case of T that is in case of thief in case of T he is uh, running with uniform speed of 50 meters per minute so his speed is equals to 50 meters per minute and uh, because he started two minutes earlier than the policeman so distance covered in 
t plus 2 minutes distance covered in t plus 2 minutes by thief is equals to we know that uh, the relation between uh, speed uh, distance and time distance is equals to speed into time so by using this formula so here uh, we have here speed is uh, 50 meters per minute and uh, distance covered in t plus 2 minutes that is time is uh, t plus 2 so when you multiply these two 515 into t 50 t plus 52 is 100 so let us take uh, this is number 2 we know that according to information policeman catches uh, t that is thief after t minutes so therefore distance covered by policeman in uh, t minutes is equals to distance covered by thief in t, t plus 2 minutes which means 1 is equals to 2 this is equals to this now from uh, 1 and uh, 2 so we have t upon 2 into 115 plus 5t is equals to 50t plus 100 so further here 2 is dividing if it comes here uh, multiplies then here uh, t is multiplied by these two terms 115 into t 115 t plus 5t into t 5t square is equals to 2 into 50 100 t 2 into 50 t 100 t plus 2 into 100 200 so further so we'll bring all these terms into this side then uh, 5t square uh, here 115t if it comes here minus 100t this becomes uh, plus 15t and this comes here minus 200 is equals to 0 again here you can see these all coefficients are multiples of 5 so throughout we can divide with uh, 5 so this becomes 5 5 gets cancelled so t square 5 in 15 uh, uh, 3 times 3t and 5 into 100 40 times is equals to 0 now we got a quadratic equation so on simplifying this quadratic equation we will get t so we will simplify by splitting middle term so what i'll do is uh, t square so we'll split uh, this uh, 3t into uh, 8 5 are 40 so 8t minus 5t minus 40 is equals to 0 because 8t minus 5t 3t and 8 into negative 5 negative 40 so both the conditions are satisfying so again here we can from these two terms we'll take uh, t common here we left with t here we left with 8 from these two terms we'll take minus 5 common here we left with t here we left with plus 8 is equals to 0 again from these two terms this is common so t plus 8 will take common here left with t here minus 5 is equals to 0 when this into this is equals to 0 in other words when a into b is equals to 0 either one must be 0 either a must be 0 or b must be 0 then only the product will be 0 so this is equals to t plus 8 is equals to 0 or t minus 5 is equals to 0 so further if positive 8 comes here negative 8 t is equals to negative 8 or t is equals to negative 5 comes here positive 5 and we know that what is t here t is time right time cannot be negative so time t is equals to 5 which means the policeman catches the thief after 5 minutes clear therefore the p catches t after 5 minutes clear this is it